Three never happened, all right? All right, all right fine. <laughs> I still owe you a bachelor party. Uh, yeah, one problem, though. Check it out. <laughs> okay, if you want to be belligerent, you want to get technical, fine. I owe you a post-bachelor party, all right? Just you, me, and anybody else wants to forget all of last year, all right? All right, sold. Sign him. Right. Just pulling it out of the fire. Hey, seriously. What? You did good. We need more squiggly carrot things. Tim's dad's been hitting them pretty hard. We'll get with it. He's just such a cutie, you know. But the more I think about him being fathered like a... by a sleazeball like McIntyre, I... We don't even know his mother's first name yet. Well, now's as good a time as any. Yeah, right. Pass the crew to Dan. By the way, Jamal, was your poor late mother's first name, Janine? We could start with the first baby, okay? Alec and Janine's baby would have been born early summer. So, if Jamal's birthday is Christmas... Our theory's right to stop. Exactly. Hey, Jamal, you got any, uh, Twinkies there or anything? <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> Will you look at this perfect symmetry? You must be a Virgo like my perfectionist pal here. <laughs> When's Virgo? September. Now and then. Oh, really? Early or late? It makes all the difference in the world, sign-wise. The 31st. Oh, great, a Gemini, like me. You know all about this stuff. Yeah, she's a mm -hmm. fanatic. What are Gemini's supposed to be like? Perfect in every way. <laughs> Works for me. Ah, both of you. See, on the one hand, they're calm, cool, collected Jamal. But on the other hand, they're... What's your middle name? been canceled. Oh, come on, tell me. I hate it. It's blank. We promise we won't tell anyone. Okay, okay. Alexander. Alexander. Surplus of charm, Erica. Oh, don't do that, Adam. Don't try to snow me into submission. Together, we can grind McIntyre into dust. I'll use every resource I have to bring him down, but you have to do the same. Oh, yes, the spellbinding day of an enchantment woman. What to wear when you have to woo shareholders and fight a corporate takeover on the same day? That's it. That's the spirit. Laughter from the gallows, Adam. It's too much. Nothing is too much for Erica Kane. Adam, my psychotic daughter is going after my life with a buzzsaw. The jury I am counting on to make a decision about my life is buying her lies. The man who raped me is taken into breaking into my home and hiding into my bedroom. And the man I hired to mind my business is now trying to steal it away. Well, what next? Oh, but, but what next? I, I know you, and I'll tell you what next. What is next is you fight. Well, I would like to break every bone in Alec McIntyre's body. Good. Hold on to that thought that you can't go anywhere near McIntyre because you can't afford to lose control. Now, what, what you have to do now is make that jury adore you. No amount of stock shares is going to do you any good if you're in Plattsville prison. You trying to cheer me up? <laughs> Charlie! What the hell have you done with Gloria? doesn't live here anymore. I threw her out last night. What? I am not interested in standing here discussing my personal affairs with you. 
Well, are you interested in knowing that your wife almost died last night? Died? But, yeah, if, I, if I hadn't found her in time, there's no telling what would have happened. What happened? What did she almost die of, may I ask? Heartbreak, by any chance? Exposure, Sam. Exposure, well, um, Dory's always been a, an old pro at exposing herself, never suffered any permanent ill effects. <laughs> found her in my stable this morning. With the stable boy? Passed out, blue from the cold. Oh, well, little... Spent the night there. Little Eva shivering on her ice flow. <laughs> Classic Gloria. Chandler, she, she was barely alive. I called Maria Santos immediately. Oh, <laughs> classic you. Riding to the rescue. How pleasant that must have been for her. I can see her now. Ensconced in all over velvet pillows. With a, with a, surrounded by minions. Talking in hushed tones. What did you stash her? Natalie's old room? Don't you ever learn... No, wait, don't, don't you listen. Gloria's gone. Ah, yes, that's true. That's, 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 you're right, you're right. And you haven't a clue. And you're beside yourself with worry. She is weak and exhausted. She's in no shape to care for herself. Well, she doesn't have to, does she? There's always somebody ready to save Gloria from herself. You better, you better go on and find her before she decides to play Save the Damsel with somebody else. Well, you were one callous jerk, Chandler. He didn't even notice I was gone, did he? You know, for a doctor, you sure don't have a whole lot of common sense. Probably is still talking to Brooke. Right? Listen, Brainiac, if Edwin was going to be trying to light Brooke's fire, do you think he'd be chatting her up at a party? He'd be in the back booth of some candlelit restaurant listening to gypsy violins. If he was going to open his arms and say, come home, baby, do you think he'd do it in front of half the town? He took you to this party. Not Brooke, you. The woman that he loves. The woman he's going to marry. The woman he's so solid with that he can he can boost a bummed out friend and not even think twice about it. Great. Well, great. Then uh, get out of here, huh? Well, I'll get along in a little while. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I just need some time. Some time to think, okay? My big sister's problem in a nutshell. Too much thinking, too little trusting. You think that you know that old stag party tradition where the woman jumps out of a cake? Yeah? Well, I want the cake. I want the woman, too. A little retro, don't you think? Okay, all right, you can skip the cake, but, but keep the woman. You're definitely scaring me now. It doesn't even have to be a woman. You know, just a healthy adult with a good disposition and a reasonable IQ. <laughs> and I'm looking for a babysitter. Help me find a babysitter, Tad, please. You know, just for one night a week, please. Babysitter? If that's all you wanted, you should tell me, man. You bring Danny over to my house anytime. Really? Are you kidding? I love babysitting. Listen, I've got a lot of practice, you know, and the truth is my credentials are pretty good. Oh, my man, thank you. Wait until my wife hears this. Yeah, well, you just better get used to saying it that way. My wife, my wife, because after a while it turns into the ball and chain. <laughs> like I'll tell her. All right, man. I have some mess up since one of you and uh, Derek been bonding. Oh. Way back. <laughs> I didn't even know you knew each other. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if we didn't. Obviously. No, you don't understand. I mean, literally, I wouldn't be here and save my life. Come again? Yeah. Derek actually took a bullet from me. He gave me a little help with a psycho who had a machine gun who thought that he and Dixie deserved to live together for the rest, rest of their lives. As a matter of fact, Dixie and I used to live here when uh, Junior was a baby. I pity the poor slob has got a baby bruise this foot. Who knows, maybe I can give Derek some tips. You know, it was real decent of you to turn that custody thing around so fast. To tell you the truth, seems like things have been upside down for so long. The least I could do is help make them right. That seems like old times, doesn't it? Seems to be the general theme. Yeah? Excuse me. Okay.
Hi. How you doing? Hi. What were you and Tad talking about? Oh. See about custody. You know, it was I'm just giving credit. We're uh, credit. I haven't seen her. Uh, her sister left a little while ago. And there she is. Actually, where's Marie? In the northeast corner of Sullivan Park. A bench by the bird bath. I'll draw you a map if you want me. that made her so desperate that she'd run out into that winter weather without any protection. But I didn't drive her out. McIntyre took her. You see, they've been having this little affair, and they ran off together. Yeah, Alec came looking for her at Wild. When she said she didn't want to see him, I turned him away. Really? Well, uh, she's playing a little hard to get, I guess. That, that's just the way she waits until she fans the flames a bit. I wouldn't worry about Gloria. No, 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 no. Gloria probably called Alec the miniature back was turned, and they rode off into the sunrise together. We've got to get started on that other matter right away. Dimitri. Please wait. something. Since when have you two party animals turned into such uh, teetotalers? Well, sobriety seems to work out pretty well in the courtroom. That's right. That's right. I forgot. Congratulations. I'm embarrassed you. Thank you well, very I much. I would like to make yes, a point. Sir. Go ahead. To the future. Full speed ahead. May we never, ever see another year like 93. Here, here. Amen. The smooth sailing and quiet waters, no more rocky shoals ahead. Do this one thing and I can get out of here? That's the idea. That's the best news I've had in a long, long time. than I have ever been in my life. But, but I can't do this. Do what? Marry you. I have to break our engagement. I have to let you go. Fine electronic retailing. Shopping a boom on your TV has become a billion-dollar business. But are you getting your money's worth? Find out tonight at 6.